everybody and welcome to Knit One Heart Two, um, the Massachusetts Sheep and Wool episode. I'm Wendy, also known as Penny Wendy on Ravelry and Penny Wendy Two on Spark People. And these are my kids, Jack and Lily. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> and we're filming today from my backyard without Sheila because um, I have put together a little clip from our sheep and wool visit yesterday, and I wanted to say a few things before we start. The first thing I'm going to say to you is I'm very, very sorry about how poor the film quality is. This was our first time using um, the... Okay. <laughs> this is the first time using the... Um, the the handheld camera alone without my husband to help us and um, you know we're, we're just novices at this so some of the scenes are a little dark I did try to process them with my program but it is what it is and the other thing I want to apologize about is um, there were a couple of vendors that we really wanted to get on film and um, the camera was telling me that I only had three more minutes left to film by the time we got to them so uh, we put in a little note at the end but Jennifer from Holiday Yarns um, we posted your website uh, just wanted to mention your name on here and give you a shout out uh, we filmed at your booth but it was too crowded when we were there and then we didn't have enough tape left so um, this is just a little snapshot of our road trip and I hope you enjoy it Bye. 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 We're here at Knit Tink. It's a comic book inspired yarn and fiber dyeing company. And why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm ADB on uh, Ravelry. Uh, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Uh, yet another Adrian in the fiber world, I know. <laughs> and I'm going to buy this from her. It's really interesting. It's faux angora vegan, and I want you to tell me a little bit about it because it feels like yum. Yeah. I can't even tell you about how soft it is. Okay, so I know that there's this bias in the fiber world to use nut wool or to not use nut wool, but there are vegan spinners or vegan wearers of things, and so I have a friend who said, please make me something but nut wool because I... because she's dumb. Sorry. Um, <laughs> So I started looking at vegan options, and um, I settled on Coangora. Uh, it feels like silk. It has a long deep look, if you will. Uh, it's nylon, but it's just processed to feel like happiness. It does. It produces a really nice halo in the way that Angora does. So when you spin it, you get a little bit of that soft, delicious kind of halo, which I really like. Um, yeah, I'm getting it for myself, and I will show you on the show when I spin it up. You know, there's just so many videos out there that make it. Oh, but you're not actually spinning, you're just moving the wheel. I thought she was spinning. <laughs> Baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> Cam, it's a piece of exercise equipment. Yeah, I don't think he'd fly in that one. That could be what I'm going to do. This is interesting. Look at you! Yeah, move your hand up and see what it is. This is one piece of yarn. I thought I was! Here, I'll give you a I thought I was. I thought I was! I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I, I just want you to know the important thing is she took the rest, ladies. That's true. That's right. No, it's too thick. Well, we're all standing here. <laughs> Watch. And she's letting me tape her. Really? I mean, seriously. I think I'll stick with drops. I've been looking for a while. 
And this is Sheila buying her first fiber. Are you a fiber artist? 850. I had to go for surgery. Oh no. Get the little thing in there. Thank you. Show it to the camera. There, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, can you tell us your name? I'm Steve Abelman. And what are you selling here? These are Viking combs that where you comb wool and make wool in yarn. We have English. That's cool. The Duca bar, which is Russian paddle combs, and yep. Viking, which are basically from the traditions of the different countries and how they call them wool. Oh, that's really neat. Thank you. And do you have an online shop? Yes, we do. And what's your website? www.atouchoftwist.net. Thank you very much. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. Here we are at Yarn and Fiber, and um, <laughs> we've mentioned this website several times on our podcast, and here is our owner. Hi, I'm Cindy. Hi, I'm, Cindy. I own the uh, Yarn and Fiber Company. Which can be found in Derry, Derry, New Hampshire. Derry, yes. New Hampshire, or yarnandfiber.com. Dot com. Yes. Show them all the stuff that she has here. Now, you have your own brand of yarn, is that correct? Yes, we have the Ivy Brambles line. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we got that out there. And, uh, yeah, the colors aren't going to show up on this yes, very well. This is the Ivy Brambles um, roving. Very pretty. We do a lot of shopping. Yes, they're about a half an hour away from us. <laughs> I want to show you the lace yarn that I'm thinking. Okay. As I fall. See if you can get the color. That's Probably so not very well, pretty. But... I'm tempted. There's I... Lara. Yes, Lara. I'm going to have to get this. You are? Yes, I'm going to get this. Are you going to only get one skein? You're I'm not only going to get one skein because right. I bought other yarn at Rhinebeck for the other bitch. Okay. You okay. I want to take a picture. This okay. is Sean. This is Melissa from the His and Her podcast. And Wendy's going to be giving her what she made to Sean. Come over here and let oh. me show it. All right, I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. You told me not to touch the camera. <laughs> this is my zombie. My zombie version, I did him in orange. Um, he's kind of rough and ready. His little legs are kind of sad. It's all right. Legs are sad. But I gave you some pins, too. Yeah, came awesome. with pins. <laughs> and this is for you to torture any sports team. The Canucks. It's going to be Vancouver. It's going to be Vancouver. It's going to be the Canucks. Well, there you so go. You, you know what? Put, you can keep I'm the bag because it might kind of get all um, yep. pointy on your fingers. That's but awesome. it's you. really fun to shove the pins I'm going to enjoy this. Yes. I'm sure. <laughs> I think, we, I think we all need a voodoo doll for, e for everybody, for everything. You know, I know. I, I'm thinking of, you know, starting a whole line of them. Sports voodoo, work voodoo, you know. Everything. Why not? Why not? Thank you very so. much. Okay, hi. Um, we're here visiting with Into the World, and can you introduce yourself? Hi, Chris, Into the World, and I'm the creator, Will Smith, and all this lovely yarn and fiber. And her site is www.intotheworld.com. Correct. And um, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been dying about three years and just this past May gone full-time and professional. Well, your stuff is really beautiful. Um, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. What different bases do you have right on this lovely wall? <laughs> right on this lovely wall we have the top shelf, MCN. Um, so the semi solids are all the merino cashmere. Uh, nylon blend. Uh, the second shelf is a pooling yarn designed to pool and stack, and that's mostly uh, merino nylon or a blue face nylon blend. And then scattered about uh, for the completely variegated, uh, let's have a little bit of everything uh, pure merino, merino blends, blue face luster blends. I love it. I'm definitely going to get one of the pooling ones because or I'm looking at that little blue speckled one. Uh, eight dot six. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> now I am getting this one. It's pretty. Yes. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty. I'm getting a step behind my little sheer counter. Going over here. 
I do give myself a I'm horrible. I never have that. They don't always make it well. No. Except for after I have enough because I had a one job. You're on. Hi, um, I'm here at the Holiday Yarn Stall with Brewer Gnome. Right, can you introduce yourself to everybody? Hi, I'm Dan, um, also known as Brewer Gnome on Ravelry. Um, I run Gnome Spun Yarn and Fiber Arts. Uh, I dye yarn, yarn and fiber. Um, I specialize in uh, non-common breeds of fiber, um, basically not merino. Um, so everything from Wensleydale through Rambouillet and Dorset. Um, a special soft spot for all the downs wools, which are I think are really great for sock yarns and things that need a little bit more durability. This is going to come home with mommy. Oh. <laughs> and it's called, I can't say that word again. Ram Day lilies? Rambouillet. Oh, Rambouillet. 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 Oh. Also known as French Merino. Um, Rambouillet is a breed, it's technically a merino, but it was broken yes. off from the main French Merinos, uh, Spanish Merinos, when they were gifted to a uh, Spanish king, and he bred them, and it's springier, so it's got a lot more loft. And it's super soft. It's, it's, soft. it's merino soft, but with a lot more wraps. I had to come back and get this. And this is some of the colors, if you just want to show the little area. I zoomed in too much, sorry. Oh. Are you zooming with the zoom button? I am. Don't do that. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know how to make that go back. Um, <laughs> I went back. Oh, good. I know how to do that. Well, you're good. All right.